Are you a developer who ever wondered who actually picked up the software you wrote, integrated it into their product, and how that went? Are you a project manager who ever wondered where exactly this feature or that bug fix is in the continuous integration and delivery pipeline, and when it will be deployed to production? Are you a product owner who ever wondered what precisely went into this new version of the product, who changed what, where, and why? Or are you one of many other stakeholders who ever had questions about where a piece of software came from, who changed it, why they changed it, and where it's going? Questions you couldn't answer without making phone calls and sending mails. If you answered yes to any of those questions, you should care about the Eiffel Protocol for continuous integration and delivery. Continuous integration and delivery and related practices have been with us for some time now and great tools for configuring and chaining together build and test activities have been created. But there's a problem with that. Even if you have the most awesome pipeline imaginable for your product, service, library, component, or whatever it is you're making, the life cycle of the software that makes it up is much broader than the scope of your average continuous integration server. If you are like most people, some of that software came from, say, some open source project, with their own build, test, and distribution mechanisms, and their own backlog and defect trackers. Or some of it came from a third-party supplier, or an offshore office, or even another team in your organization with their own processes and terminology and tools. And chances are that other people downstream of you will integrate your software into their own systems and products and services, and the first thing you hear about it is when they start sending angry mails your way because your latest release broke their build. This is where the Eiffel Protocol for continuous integration and delivery comes in. At its heart, Eiffel takes a different perspective on continuous integration and delivery pipelines. Rather than thinking of those pipelines as a set of job configurations in a CI server somewhere, let's for a moment think of them as cloud applications in their own right. Cloud applications where each of those activities and each of the interacting tools that make it up are communicating microservices. In Eiffel, every action taken in continuous integration and delivery is an event. Every event is globally broadcast on a message bus shared by these microservices. Every event is a small, concise thing in itself, but it references other previous events using explicit links such as why did this event occur, in what context did it happen, what was the item under test, what was the build environment. Together, these events form a directed acyclic graph of everything that's going on in your continuous integration and delivery pipeline in real time. If you think about continuous integration and delivery in this way, it opens up a lot of possibilities, but the use cases fall into two main categories. The Eiffel events can be used to drive the pipeline behavior by listening to events and intelligently triggering appropriate behavior informed by those events. One can create vast, decentralized, scalable, technology agnostic pipelines that span organizations and continents alike without the need for fragile point to point integrations. And technology agnosticism is an important point. Just as you need to communicate with others regardless of whether they use the same CI server as you do, you need to avoid being locked into a particular solution yourself. The other category is description and analysis of the pipeline. By persisting, aggregating and analyzing these events, one can answer all the questions we started out with and many more besides in real time. No more mails and phone calls. So what is Eiffel then? Eiffel is the protocol that defines these events and how they reference one another. A clear protocol is key, because if you don't have that, you can never build a scalable system. It will disintegrate into local dialects and confusion in no time. But the protocol itself isn't enough. To make use of it, you need the infrastructure to transport the events, services and applications to store, analyze and visualize the events as well as tools for producing and consuming the events at all the various endpoints in your continuous integration and delivery pipeline. Your CI servers, your repository managers, your SEM systems, and so on. 
And that is what the Eiffel community is about, collaborating on the underlying Eiffel protocol while developing and maintaining open source services, applications, plugins and tools based on it.